Hello teachers, I'm Megan. I'm here to show you today how to use Slidekick to access thousands and thousands of Google Slides and free resources for VIP Kid teachers. And these resources were created by teachers in the VIP Kid Google Slides group. So if you're not part of that Facebook group, leave the description box below to go join. Or if you're not on Facebook, there's a link for you as well. So what is Slidekick? Uh, Slidekick is a web app. This is something that's different than an app you would download and pay for in the app store. A web app is essentially a glorified website, okay? And we use Slidekick to list out all of our available resources. This makes it easier to access and quicker to find what you're needing. If your device has a browser, then you're ready to go. That's all you need. I'm going to show you these steps on an iPhone today, but if you have a different device, just follow these steps with me in your device's browser, okay? The first thing I will do is tap on Safari, and I will enter in Slidekick's URL, and you can uh, access this URL in the VIP Kid Google Slides group. Type it in exactly as it appears, because sometimes when you start typing it in, it'll come up with suggestions, and those suggestions might not be right. So, so type it exactly as it appears, okay? The first thing that you'll see on Slidekick's screen when you type in the URL is this prompt to add it to your home screen. I recommend against doing that. Um, you can, if you'd like, a really handy icon on your home screen to just tap on and open. However, when you add it to your home screen, you will no longer have that reload button in case something starts going a little sluggish. So I recommend adding it to your favorites. If you tap on the launch button, any browser, just like the share button, maybe the three dots or this little share icon, tap that. And I'm on iOS 13, so I am scrolling down and I'm going to tap add to favorites. When I tap add to favorites, I'll see an option to rename it. I might just call it Slidekick <laughs> and I'll tap save. Now that favorite will go um, some browsers, it might be under the three dot menu. On Safari, you can just simply tap on the URL and you'll see all of your favorites. So there it is right there. I'm going to X out this little prompt right here. Our next step will be to sign into Slidekick. Okay, let's enter in our email address and we will tap get pin. All right, I've got my pin code and I'm going to enter it in. I will stay signed in until I clear my browsing history. After I enter my pin code in and I sign in, the pin expires. So each device that you sign into or each browser that you sign into, you'll have to do these same steps again. So just remember the pins are not passwords, okay? So you won't ever need to tap, I already have a pin or I need another pin. Just enter your email, tap get pin. Now that you're signed into Slidekick, you will see the home screen of Slidekick. At the bottom, there are three tabs. The rewards tab obviously houses our rewards and the lessons tab houses all resources related to specific lessons. The home screen houses the best ever help center, okay? If you have a question that this video or any other video doesn't answer, check out the Help Center. There are uh, frequently asked questions. You can also just browse, but you can search a, a term as well. Keep watching this series for more videos on how to use the lesson screen and the reward screen and see how Slidekick's going to make your life so much easier. Thanks guys.